I come to a point in this project where I am ditching the cabin and I get to an area where it looks like this. I need to get this stump out without digging a hole and ruining the cabin. I'm going to attempt to change out this to the BX, the Ripper tool. And uh, I picked this up from BX Expanded and show you guys how to put it on. This is gonna be the first time for me. So we're gonna walk through it for the first time putting it on. They tell me that the tool will go on the backhoe without any additional modification. And it's super simple, I believe. And it's a little dirty because we're in the field now and I really can't do much about it, but this, this bolt here and this bolt here just need to be backed off and it allows these pins to come out and then the tool should be able to go on to that. So that is what we're gonna do now. And uh, we're gonna walk through it together and see what happens. But first, let's take a look at the tool itself. All right, so this is a bad mammy jammy right here. Anyways, this thing right here is meant for ripping roots and has a nice little hook on the back that I'll show you here in a minute. But this is meant to bolt right up to the BX23's backhoe that comes with it. And let me tell you about this thing. This thing is some heavy duty stuff. This is almost like razor edge, super, super sharp. First impressions when I picked this thing up is, man, is this thing put together well. Looks awesome, looks aggressive, looks like it's gonna just rip right through whatever I'm going to uh, need it to rip through. Today we're gonna be using it on that back stump. So I don't wanna move the tractor because it's rutting up a whole bunch of the stuff in the back of the cabin. So we're gonna put it on right where it sits. All right, so here we have the bucket and the two pins to get the bucket off. I was actively working here in the field and I don't really have time to clean this up too much. So I'm gonna try to avoid the dirt, getting it into the pins here in the back. Preferably you probably wanna do this when it's a little cleaner, but like I said, I'm pretty tied up against the cabin and I don't wanna rut anything else up. And I'm pretty confident we can get this done here. What we're gonna to have to do is we're gonna to have to take these bolts off. They're held on by nuts with uh, a bolt on the back. So we're just gonna take these off and I imagine that these pins are just gonna slide right out. Take the weight off. What I did is I did this kind of curl in the bucket in reverse grabbing it and then pulling the pin right out. Taking that weight right off of it. There's your pin. Now it's critical here in the field that you don't get any dirt in there. This is probably why it's best to to do this when it's clean but we're just gonna take our time and make sure that all is good here there it is before I put this together I'm gonna clean this off and, and grease it back up expander here. There we go. Look at that nice good fit. We can also put our bolts back in, which is awesome. Look at that. I mean perfect fit. And it looks like the way that this is put together that you could put the pins in either side depending on your needs all right so this thing looks awesome this thing looks aggressive i can't wait to use it the pins lined up fine this thing fit on beautiful i mean it's not even the least bit off i mean that's amazing the bolts on the other side to hold the pins in are in there they're not going anywhere good job so can't wait to get this in use we're actually gonna take out that stump right there all in all I would say that ideally you'd want to clean off your pins and stuff and re-grease after you've done this but I'm here in the field there's a lot of grease on these pins right now and we're doing light work so probably you could have that done if I knew what I was doing in I don't know not even five minutes it's pretty good mm -hmm. 